guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have a big old unboxing. So some of this is quite unlike me because a couple of these boxes I've had since December and have not had the time to film an unboxing. So I do have the December fairy loop for you guys today. It's even dusty. Like it has splodges on it from dust. It's been here so long. But this one was sent to me by the team over at Fairy Loot to open for you guys. So thank you very much to Fairy Loot for that. If you are unaware of what Fairy Loot is, it is a monthly young adult fantasy, sometimes a little bit of sci-fi subscription box. And in here you get a brand new hardback book and a selection of bookish goodies. One that also arrived from Fairy Loot in December that I did pay for myself is the Kingdom of the Curse special edition. Like, can you appreciate my self-control? This has been in my house since December. I have not opened this. We also have the January Illumicrate, which arrived just this morning. I did catfish you guys in the thumbnail. It arrived in a white box, not the usual yellow. But if you guys are unfamiliar with Illumicrates, they are once again a monthly bookish subscription box. The books in here tend to lean a little bit more adult, although they do do some YA as well. And they are also fantasy and sci-fi and this one was also sent to me by the team over at Illumicrate so thank you very much for that and if you guys would like to get your hands on an Illumicrate after watching this video I do have a discount code and my code is Becca5 that will get you a discount on a three or six month subscription and then the final one that I'm gonna have for you guys in this video is the Goldsboro Science Fiction and Fantasy Fellowship this is a book only subscription tends to skew adults has a little bit of YA in there as well and in this one you get one brand new fantasy or sci-fi book that is a signed and numbered special edition. So let us crack some of these open. I'm going to start with the special edition of Kingdom of the Curse. And before I actually open the parcel, there is a little plastic window on here with a tiny envelope that says, please do not bend. So I'm going to have a little look what's in here. I'm guessing it's going to be like character cards or something like that. Oh, it's a signed book plate for the book. Okay. I'm really excited for this. I did really enjoy Kingdom of the Wicked and the Fairy Loot edition of Kingdom of the Wicked is one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen so I really wanted to get my hands on Kingdom of the Curse and I'm glad I managed to do so. Here we have the Fairy Loot dust bag and I'm so excited to see the edges on this. She pretty. I don't love the covers for this series in general and the Fairy Loot is just a recover but the edges are absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this series by Kerry Maniscalco it starts off as YA. I believe that the sequel is New Adult. It's a historical fantasy romance set in Italy following a young girl whose twin sister gets Gets violently murdered and while the main character I think she's called Amelia is investigating her sister's murder she dabbles with some dark magic and ends up accidentally summoning a prince of hell. Real excited to pick this one up especially considering that it's classed as new adult although I have heard that there isn't really any like spicy scenes in it so I'm wondering what exactly about it has bumped it up into the new adult age range. Moving into the December fairy loot I have forgotten everything about this including the theme books like what I thought the books would be absolutely everything. So the oh interesting spoiler card art. The theme for this one is dance with death. Okay how did I forget this? There are the spoilers I'm gonna go in blind but if you guys would like to pause and read through those. So occasionally in fairy loot you'll have a box that includes two books. The second book will be a paperback. December is indeed one of those boxes and the second book is The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. I believe that this has a exclusive cover on it and is also digitally signed so I will overlay the original cover over the top so that you guys can see the difference. I think that this one is a paranormal romance but I know nothing about it. The front says death drew them together, life could tear them apart and I will just read the synopsis for you guys since I have never heard of this book. Elise is cursed. Every time she touches someone she experiences how they will die and when she predicts but is unable to prevent her brother's death Elise is desperate to escape her terrible gift. Then she meets Claire, a vampire tasked with helping Elise master her rare powers and recruiting her to the Veil, a secret organization determined to protect the paranormal world at all costs. At first Elise is reluctant to work with a vampire but when she predicts a teacher's imminent murder she's determined to stop the violent death. As Elise and Claire grow closer Elise begins to wonder can she really trust someone tasked with securing her loyalty, someone who could easily kill her someone who might hold the key to unraveling her brother's mysterious death. So we have a sapphic 
Romantic Vampire Romance here, which sounds pretty interesting. Moving on to some of the items. The first one is in this little velvet pouch. It feels like another mini sword. Oh, it's another Dagger Lester opener. Ooh, this one's silver. This is a collectible series that Fairy Loot have been including intermittently. They are replicas from books. This one is Jack's Dagger from Once Upon a Broken Heart, I believe. And the first one in this series I do have as well, which I think is the sword from Throne of Glass. And I generally use these to open my subscription boxes. Next up, we have this little pouch on the front. It says Law Keychain. So I'm going to guess that is exactly what it is. And oh, the pretty little feather on the front of this. I'm not sure how clearly you guys will be able to see it because it's so shiny, but it says bind your fate to mine. We then have another little paper pouch. This one says Nasir's Tattoo. And this one is inspired by We Hunt the Flame. And oh, it is a iron on patch, which is cool because I've had patches from subscription boxes before that are so on and that is far too much effort for me. We also have a book sleeve. This one has absolutely gorgeous art on it. Wow. And this one is inspired by These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I saw the little thing on here that says TVD book sleeve and my first thought was The Vampire Diaries. This isn't The Vampire Diaries but no it's These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. The thing that I really love about fairy loot pouches is that they have a zip on them so normally I'll put a book in where I'm annotating it and I can put all my annotation supplies in as well. And I see that they've also changed from the fabric type book sleeves to these like fake leather ones which are cool because they are wipe clean I know Illumicrate normally do the um, plasticky leathery type ones. So right in the bottom of the box we have a couple of flat items. The first two are these gorgeous Hades and Persephone bookmarks. I was confused for a second because I couldn't see that one. It was like tucked down the side and I pulled out this one and it says collectible number two on it but this is the start of a new collectible series by Fairy Loot of mythological bookmarks. We all know I love Hades and Persephone. And then the final items in here are the bonus items from Fairy Loot. So in every fairy loot, you will get two collectible tarot cards and eventually you will end up with a full deck. I think that the deck is almost complete. I don't have all of them. I've probably got about half of them. But I think that they're nearly there. So I'm really excited to see what's coming next in terms of the bonus item. They are going to add anything else. But this one I'm really excited about because this looks like Eo and Victra from Red Rising. Red Rising being like one of my favorite series ever. So absolutely love these and the art on them is really pretty. So lastly in this box we have the book of the month which will be a hardback with an exclusive cover. In the bag as well we also have as always the monthly bookmark that matches the theme art, a letter from the author on the back of this art and the monthly fairy scoop. And next month's fairy loot the January one which is a little bit delayed I think it's arriving at the beginning of February but the theme is monsters within it's a YA contemporary fantasy set in London for the book which is interesting but I'm really excited about the theme on that one and the December book for fairy loot is backwards Oh, Year of the Reaper. I was confused for a second because this looked like a sticker. But it's Year of the Reaper by Michaela Lucia, which considering I've had this box for so long, I haven't been spoiled for this. We also have another book plate there to stick in the book. Oh, and as usual with Fairy Loot, we have foiling on the naked hardcover and also this gorgeous under dust jacket art. Oh, the spine on this is really pretty as well. So as usual, this is an exclusive edition from Fairy Loot. So I will overlay the cover over the top so that you guys can see the differences. And I am also going to read the synopsis because I, like I said, I haven't heard of this book. Three years ago, Lord Cassia disappeared in the midst of war on a mission entrusted to him by the king. Since then, a devastating plague has swept the land, leaving countless dead and the kingdom forever altered. Having survived a rotting prison cell and a merciless illness, Cass now 18 wants only to return to his home in the mountains and forget past horrors but home is not what he remembers his castle has become a refuge for the royal court and they have brought their enemies with them when an assassin targets those closest to the queen Kaz is drawn into a search for a killer one that leads him to form an unexpected bond with a brilliant young historian named Lena Kaz and Lena soon realize that who was behind the attacks is far less important than why they must look to the past following the trail of a terrible secret one that could threaten the kingdom's newfound peace and plunge it back into war seems like 
like it's a little bit of a political fantasy, which I love, and also seem to have a romance in here as well. So I'm actually pretty excited for this one. But I think my favorite item from this month's box has to be the bookmarks. I love a foil bookmark and I love Hades and Persephone. But of course, as always, please let me know down in the comments which is your guys' favorite item from the December fairy loot. So next up, I think I will do the GSFF box. As you guys may know, I started a vlog series where I'm holding myself accountable to reading these and the next installment is going to be in March where I read the picks from December, January and February and I think out of the three books because they are revealed ahead of time like I know what they all are I think I know up to March at the moment this is the one that I'm most excited for I think it has it's got the normal cover but sprayed edges something I love about gold throw is the amount of bubble wrap that they use because one it protects the book and two as somebody with a small business I definitely always reuse it so it's nice to have like so much bubble wrap but the January book for Goldsboro is is Age of Ash by Daniel Abraham, who is half of James S.A. Corey, who writes the Expanse series, which I only found out when this book was announced that the Expanse series is co-authored. So I'm excited for this because I've heard amazing things about the Expanse. And so I assume that Daniel Abraham is a very good author. Here are the sprayed edges. And as usual with Goldsboro, this one is signed and numbered. And my number is 1051. So I can't remember what the synopsis for this is. It is book one in the Kithamar trilogy, but I did look up the synopsis when it was announced and I've of course forgotten because that was a couple of months ago now. But on the back it says, every age must come to an end and every life tells a story. The fate of the world is woven from them all, which actually sounds a lot like the synopsis of Wheel of Time. But it says on the inside of the dust jacket, Kithamar is a center of trade and wealth, an ancient city with a long bloody history where countless thousands live and their stories unfold. Alice is simply a petty thief from the slums of Long Hill, but when her brother is murdered she sets out to discover who killed him and why. The more she unearths about him the more she learns about herself and the truths she finds are more dangerous than knives. Swept up in an intrigue as deep as the roots of Kithamar where the secrets of the lowest born can sometimes topple thrones. The story Alice chooses will have the power to change everything. So it seems like we have a simple revenge plot in here but I don't think the synopsis actually gives too much away on this. It's set in a pretty big bustling city. A thief's brother is murdered and she wants to figure out why. So I will be reading this in March and I'm really excited to do so. And then the final box that we have is the January Illumicrate. Now I have been spoiled for this book because people will just be out there the day that it arrives when most people don't have it. Same with the whole chest, what the book is. But the thing that I've heard the most about this is that the edition is absolutely beautiful. Oh no, I do remember what this is actually. It is Tahara Murphy's new book. But I've heard amazing things about the edition and that it's one of the best like redesigns of a book ever. So I'm really excited to see what Illumicrate have done with this one because I know that the December book was absolutely gorgeous as well. The theme for this month is Royal Secrets. Once again, here are the spoilers if you want to pause and have a read through. But the theme for February is Bad Blood and it is for fans of Poison Study, A Memory Called Empire, Cryer's War, Red, White and Royal Blue and Law. And the book is a Scottish inspired adult fantasy interesting. So just cracking on into this box. It's the next installment in the puzzle series. So they do like, is it 100 piece puzzles? Um, This one is inspired by We Hunt the Flame and the full artwork is there. I need to do these because I do actually really like puzzles and as they're only small ones, it'll actually be easy for me to just like start and complete it in an hour or so. We also have some fluffy socks, which I always love some socks. My sock draw is overflowing, but I still always get excited about socks. And these are inspired by Priory of the Orange Tree. Next up we have this, which is, is this a phone stand? Just from the packaging, I feel like it's a phone stand. Yes. This I believe is inspired by the Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. And on the back here it says, you're a survivor. I always suck at putting these together. And then you guys in the comments, let me know how it's done. And it all becomes glaringly obvious. But it's a phone stand. 
and for the life of me i'm looking at many other phone stands around me right now still can't figure it out does it go like that and then you have you can charge your phone this is small for my phone because i have a big ass phone we then have this which looks like it is yeah it's necklace the chain is a bit long but it is inspired by the never tilting world by runch peko and around the edge it says night and day rule from the two thrones and that is it for items but we do have two books in this month's illuminate which i didn't know so we'll hit up the paperback first this one is the ivory key by akshaya Rahman, and we have some blue sprayed edges on this one it does say in the spoiler card that this is an exclusive cover i suspect that it is the foiling that is exclusive but i will overlay the original so that you guys can see on the front of this one it says four siblings a country in ruin one quest to save them all and the synopsis says vera is desperate to establish her legacy as a revered maharani of ashoka but with the country's only quarry running out of magic a precious resource that has kept ashoka safe from conflict for centuries she can no longer protect her citizens from the looming threat of war vera's only hope is to find a mysterious artifact of legend the ivory key but in order to retrieve it she must reunite with her estranged siblings who have taken very different paths interesting vera ronak caleb and runaway raya each have something to gain from finding the ivory key and even more to lose if they fail but with each sibling harboring secrets the very thing that brought them together could tear apart their family and their world for good i like the estranged siblings element in here this is published by hot key books and they have like a little key of like things included in the book at the bottom and this one says magic secrets ciphers and sibling rivalry we all also have in here a letter from the author that goes with the ivory key as well but i'm real hyped now to see the redesigned cover of this i think is it called the woven kingdom the harem Murphy's new book oh i've already seen some of it and i'm already obsessed which way it goes this way oh wow that is pretty and this is vastly different from the standard which i will overlay over the top it's also not got a dust jacket it's just printed onto the naked hardcover and look at the spine the foiling on all of this is just gorgeous and then look at those edges we have lasered edges on here as well i understand now i understand why everybody is so obsessed this is beautiful so i have not read the Chatamy series i have read is it a very large expanse of c which is sahara Murphy's contemporary or one of her contemporaries we have a letter to the author in here on the back of this art as well gorgeous end papers and it actually isn't signed and at this point i haven't seen a book plate but there might be one i'll rummage through the packaging oh there we go i'm lying it has like a full <laughs> signature insert page here that i just skipped right past but yeah i haven't read shatami i don't know if i ever will but i have read a contemporary from tahara Murphy, so this will be my first book from her that's like remotely fantastical but the synopsis says clashing empires forbidden romance <laughs> and a long forgotten queen destined to save her people to all the world Elisa is a disposable servant not the long lost heir to an ancient Jin kingdom forced to hide in plain sight we have Jin in here the crown prince Cameron has heard the prophecies for telling the death of his king but he could never have imagined that the servant girl with the strange eyes the girl he can't put out of his mind would one day uproot his kingdom and the world okay so I'm even excited by the synopsis of this um, but I have to say it was Forbidden Romance that hooked me. So let me know in the comments, of course, what your favourite item from Illumicrate this month is. Mine is the book. Mine is definitely... 100% the book. This is gorgeous. Illumicrate are really stepping up their game with the book design recently and I truly appreciate it. I'm obsessed. So those are all of the unboxings that I have for you guys today. Please, of course, let me know your favourite items down in my comments and thank you once again to Fairyloo and Illumicrate for sending me your monthly boxes to open here on my channel and in my description box I will of course put a link to all of the websites for all of these boxes as well as all of their social medias and any discount codes that I have but aside from that guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna if you head to my description box you'll find a link to my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as link to my bookish candle website the Instagram for that and a 10% off discount code so that's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you go where nobody knows with guns sitting under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no